What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back for another video. I truly could not be any more excited for this video because yesterday we just finished up the Gymshark X Whitney Simmons pop-up shop in LA and it was honestly the most incredible experience that I've had thus far. I cannot even begin to describe the energy that was at the shop this weekend and I am just feeling so inspired, so humble, so grateful for the opportunity to do what I do and meet all of you guys. I got a couple clips, I was trying to vlog and I just got so caught up in the moment that I definitely did not succeed so I will be putting some vlog footage into this video but we are going to do a Gymshark X Whitney Simmons try on haul today. The launch is this Thursday, September 26th at 11 a.m. Pacific Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, and 7 p.m. British Summer Time. Also, I apologize for my voice. I think I lost it this weekend. It wasn't that bad yesterday, but I woke up this morning and it sounded like this, so I might crack a couple times. <laughs> Thank you so much for bearing with me. And before we get started, I just wanted to give you guys my measurements. I am about five foot five inches tall, somewhere between like 155 and 160 pounds, 43 inch glutes, 28 inch waist, 34 CD-ish boobs, and I'm wearing a medium in every single piece of the collection. I do believe that the collection is very true to size, but the fabric uh, the leggings and the shorts is very very stretchy so feel free to size down if you prefer a more snug fit but it is a very buttery like naked second skin kind of feeling so the medium fits me well and let's go ahead and get into this video we have on the Whitney leggings and Whitney sports bra my voice just cracked so hard in black and I could not be more grateful for a staple black Gymshark outfit. I love the Vital Seamless but it was also marled so for this to be like a slick beautiful black set I am ecstatic. I just cannot believe how good this collection fits. I love it so much. So I don't have the crop top in the black and I also have the shorts, which I'm so excited about. And I wish the shorts came in the Whitney Gray because I think the Whitney Gray might be my favorite color of this entire collection. But I love the way the shorts fit, so I'm going to put those on now. Y'all, I am shook this. I wore this set exactly to day one of the pop-up. So this is literally the first set that I put on when I got this collection and I could pick what I wanted to wear. And I... I'm not disappointed at all. I love these so much. The shorts fit so well. The length on them is so nice, but they are a longer short, so I feel like everything is secure. Nothing's gonna fall out, but I also prefer my shorts just to be a little bit shorter, so I hike them up just a little bit. I haven't worked out in any of the pieces yet, but from what I can tell, I don't think anything will like roll. There's a cute little Gymshark logo on the side here, and then the Whitney Simmons bar. I'm so obsessed, you guys. Wow. Uh... Now for the big reveal. I don't think you guys are ready for the Whitney reversible jacket. I only have it in black, but I'm so happy that I have such a staple piece. It's a beautiful day to be alive. It's on the back of the jacket, and... It has this very comfy teddy coat material on the inside with the Gymshark logo here. And then it is also reversible. So you can have the teddy coat fur look on the outside and the material on the inside when it's worn like this is so slick and like cool. So you won't get too hot in your jacket. I could not ask for a more staple teddy coat for this winter fall in LA because it's light and I don't need to be very warm but it is so freaking cute oh my goodness <laughs> I have on the Whitney hoodie in Whitney gray the leggings in Whitney gray as well and the sports bra is underneath the hoodie has the cutest little pull cord to make it all cropped at the end there is also cords at the bottom of the sleeves. Ugh, I'm obsessed with this hoodie. Very lightweight, 
and somehow still feels warm but not too warm the actual hood itself has a very like loose loungy fit with the cute little Whitney Simmons bar right here it's a very open neck so the hoodie is not too close to my neck I feel very free and I think I'm gonna be wearing these hoodies all winter well I guess we really don't have winter in LA but these hoodies will be perfect for LA fallish weather the Whitney bra and Whitney gray and the cute little logo is on the side here what's this it's a sticker the cute little logo is on the side here and it's also on the hip of the leggings the leggings have this amazing can you see or should i turn this way yeah this way the leggings have this amazing triangle butt contour the band everything about this collection does not dig like it does not dig anywhere i wore this sports bra for hours on end the last three days and every single time I take it off it feels like I wasn't even wearing a sports bra. I don't get any type of indentations or anything like that from the leggings or the bra which I'm not really used to. Like I've never been so comfortable in a collection before. The band has this cute little double banded detailing right here and it sits perfectly at a like lower high rise length because I know Gymshark has some pretty high rise stuff and I feel like the waistband on this is the perfect height. The leggings are a uh, pretty full length on me. My ankle bones out, so maybe like a seventh eighth. And like I said, I'm five foot five. So if you are taller, they will come up a little more, but they also are very stretchy. So it's not like they don't have the give to be able to pull them down a little longer to where you may like them. And then the back of this sports bra is to die for with the cute little ring in the back. Like Whitney absolutely thought of everything when she made this collection. I am so obsessed. And then every single piece, I'm not sure if it's on the leggings as well, but I know all the tops have, it's a beautiful day to be alive, embroidered, or I don't know if this is considered embroidery, but into the pieces. And I just think it's the cutest little reminder and detailing to have on her collection for being such a freaking light in everybody's lives. And we also have the Whitney crop top in Whitney gray, and this crop top is so cute. It is a higher neckline, but does not dig at all anywhere. And it has this cute detail of being like a, a longer front with this cute little rounded edge. I feel like it complements your body very well. And the back straight across. I feel like this is the perfect long sleeve crop top. The crop top is the same material as the leggings, I believe. And the It's a Beautiful Day to Be Alive quote is on the sleeve. Ugh, I just love this collection so much. I cannot believe how well she did. And then the Whitney Simmons bar logo is on the back here. But I did want to mention that after being at the pop-up all weekend and everybody wearing the collection that I am kind of nervous about the little logo bars because they are stitched on through the bar with a little thread. So in regards to like washing this collection, I'm really nervous to throw it in the washer, maybe on delicate by themselves. I'm not too sure yet. I know if you just get a little too rough with it that the the thread would possibly break so that's something to consider and just be careful of when you get your hands on this collection and next we have the whitney joggers in whitney gray and i think these might be the most comfortable joggers i have ever put on in my entire life i wanted to wear them this weekend but the pop-up was so warm so this is my first time actually putting them on and i am obsessed it's such a like warm jogger, but also a very athletic-y material. I think in the medium that it has the perfect amount of like the cute little jogger bagginess. Oh, I'm just so shook. The little Whitney logo is here on the thigh. I'm so excited to wear all these pieces. I think I'm ever not gonna have this collection on. And now we have the Whitney leggings and sports bra in washed sage love this color so much i feel like this is a perfect end of summer into fall lighter washed teal color i cannot believe how much i like this color and i love i love the way it looks on my skin complexion which i wasn't expecting because i don't wear a lot of blues i feel like 
and I am so excited for how beautiful this teal color is. I also do not have the crop top in this color, but I do have the shorts, which I'm so excited about, and I'll put those on now. And here are the shorts in wash sage. I will never understand why these shorts are so freaking amazing. Wow. One thing I did want to mention about this collection though, especially for the lighter colors, is that I have a nude Victoria's Secret seamless thong on, like a very, very seamless thong, like no threads at all throughout the entire thing. This collection is definitely squat proof, which I was forgetting to put in squat videos, so I will start doing that now. But the fabric is so like, thin and buttery that it will show seams very easily. So I think the nude, any type of seamless underwear would work great with these. I've now put on, I think five pairs of bottoms and I just now realize that the cute little It's a Beautiful Day to Be Alive is on the inside of the waistband. And I just find that so cute that it's like an affirmation like on every single piece of clothing that you wear. So you cannot forget to be so grateful and look at the positives in every single day. And I just love it so much. Wow. It makes me like emotional. Like I think it is so cute. But this is the collection in beautiful blue. This blue color is absolutely insane. I think it might have been one of the best sellers at the shop because everybody seemed to have put on the beautiful blue and every single skin complexion looked incredible. I think that this blue just complements everybody so well and it is such a beautiful color. I just love this so much. Wow. And here are the shorts and the crop top in beautiful blue. I think it's so cute how the front of the crop top goes in just a little bit, like down about an inch. And then it gives you this cute little peepsy of your little dandy. I think that is literally the cutest little touch to this collection, the cut of this top. So flattering. And here is the leggings in sports bra and hot fire pink. And I don't think there could be a more accurate name for this color because this pink color is absolute fire. I actually got these leggings in a small because it was like a leftover piece that I grabbed before I left the shop. And it was hard to get into because the waistband fits my waist so well, but to pull it over my thighs and my butt, it felt as if I was going to like pull the seams, like break the seams, but the small fits very, very well. So feel free to size down in this collection. I do feel like I'm a little more sucked in with the smalls on, but the mediums also fit very comfortably. I would not say there is a huge difference and I think you will fit, if you are in between sizes, you will fit if you size up or size down not size up to the next size, but if only if you're in between sizes. And I, I do like the way the smalls fit, so I'm glad that I had a chance to try them on. The sports bra. I love how well all these colors go with the little gold. Like I wore gold hoops and gold necklaces and gold jewelry all weekend. I feel like it gave the collection such like a classier vibe. She just absolutely murdered this collection. It took two freaking years but it 100% paid off because I am still shook and it's been three days since I got my hands on these pieces. Wow. I also have the crop top. I don't ask why I'm so aggressive when I pull tags off, I'm not sure. The crop top and hot fire pink. This is just the cutest like fall set, like just a little bit of skin, leggings and a long sleeve. So cute. Are just a couple little things that I wanted to mention because this is the last colorway of the collection that I will be trying on is that the leggings have the adorable little band in the front with her little logo and no front seam. So no, Camel toe should be visible. <laughs> and then I love, which I already spoke about, 
that there is a back seam and the cute little triangular butt contour and then there are seams on the insides of the leggings. I feel like we just really got the best of both worlds with these leggings as well as the shorts because we get the cute little detailed band in the front and it sits in the perfect spot and I feel like it complements your body so well, but also the seamless look in the front of the leggings. I'm still getting the triangle seam on the butt for that extra butt accentuation. I don't even know if accentuation is a word, but that's what I feel like if I feel like I'm accentuated. Boop, boop. And last but not least, we have the joggers and the cropped hoodie in the mountain brick color. And it's the only colorway of the collection and the leggings and the sports bras and such that I did grab. And I am so sad because this color is so beautiful. It's honestly the most perfect mauve like fall color it looks so good on people at the shop i feel like it just complements everybody's skin so well and i'm so sad but i did get the jogger set and i will definitely be wearing this a ton this upcoming fall i am just so excited about this collection and cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on it and i just want to take a second and say whitney i am so proud of you the shop was absolutely incredible this line is absolutely incredible you put your heart and soul into this collection and it shows and we all love it and I love you so much I will add the very few sad vlog clips that I got from this weekend after this and be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you would like to support me directly when you shop you can shop the link I will have it in the description box below and thank you guys so much for watching I will see you guys next time Good morning you guys and welcome back to my channel. I haven't started the vlog yet but today is day one of the Gymshark Whitney store and I'm so excited. I'm here with Libby. We have on our Whitney Simmons set and we are about to head to the shop. I'm going to take you guys through the next two days. I'm so excited to meet you guys and I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I forgot to tell you guys the most important part. We're at Starbucks because we need caffeine, pumpkin cream, and cold brew. <laughs> In regards to body image, it would more so just be to stop like feeling like you're in competition with others, to stop comparing yourself to others. You can be inspired by others and motivated by others, but at the end of the day, you can truly only be the best version of yourself. And whether that be your physique, your mentality, your emotional health, physical health, like relationship with food, it's the best relationship with yourself and your best relationship with yourself might not be the same best relationship that somebody else has.